I know a lot of the West Michigan guys are from Grand Rapids. Yeah, the Kalamazoo is like an hour from, or it's like 45 minutes from Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is probably the biggest scene in Western Michigan. Because that's where like their weeklies are, right? They well, have like the Riptide ones here? Yeah, Riptide runs those weeklies out there, but Keizu also has. No, um, I know they have theirs too. Odyssey. Yeah, that's right. Like they're really like just all around split up, and they're pretty small. But, but I would guess that the um, I don't know. I would I would guess that the Grand Rapids one probably has more talent to it because people, a lot of people there live close to Grand it's Rapids. It's like the or hub. Grand Rapids. Yeah, exactly. It's like the hub. Every, if anyone's gonna come to a tournament there, it's gonna be Grand Rapids. Definitely. Because I just know a lot of people from West Michigan live there. Because a lot of people from Grand Rapids carpool together. Yeah, and DMG James and Mints uh, have carpooled over to come here to make some money for uh, the big week we have planned for Smash, which if you're not already registered, get on it. Rebirth is this Saturday. Right. Being hosted by Pulse Gaming. Oh, we have Tone Def jumping off. Yeah, I'm going to hop off. Uh, okay. I'm going to let Sam and commentate for a bit. What's up? Oh, no, I wasn't saying anything. You're good. Well, real quick, I just want to put it in there. Rebirth is this Thursday. Uh, r registration for Rebirth closes this Thursday. So if you're not registered already, get on it. It's going to be hype. we got Salem showing up. All right. All right. It's been Tone fun Def. commentating. Yep. I'll see you around, Absolutely. man. So here we have GP Linus going uh, Charizard to open this setup against King James, hailing from, like we said from before, from the West Michigan area, Kalamazoo area. A very solid Diddy Kong, probably the number one Diddy Kong out in the West, and definitely uh, up there on the PR. Mm -hmm. He's probably Indeed. second to Maloney. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah, he's I definitely. I just hopped on yeah. say, man. Absolutely. I know that King James is probably the second or third PR. He's up there. I know he's in the top five for sure. Uh... Third because uh, wait. I think it's third, yeah. Yeah, because Boo Bear and Maloney take Boo Bear, yes. Top two. And then Ducks is probably up there with fourth or fifth. I, I, know, I think you're right. Boo Bear is number two right now. But that's debatable. Anyways, uh, I have seen this matchup before, and if Char if, if Linus just handles this, this matchup right and just stays away from the banana shenanigans, this isn't that tilted of a matchup. Very good kill security from Charizard can end this stock rather quickly. Um, it takes a while for King. Well, it'll take, it's going to take a little bit of effort for King James to end this stock, just simply because of Charizard's weight and his ability to stay alive. So as long as he just plays rather safe and just doesn't get caught in any of these confirms, unlike that, yeah. but that's not going to do it because you have to get him to like 140. Yeah, is it like? I thought it was like 120 with Rage. Yeah, see, exactly, 140, about 130, 140 for heavies. Uh, I know that straight from JJ Rockets has told me that for heavies, it's a, especially for Charizard, it's going to be about 140, 130 area. And with the Rage, definitely going to end it at about 130. Uh, I feel like we're going to see um, Linus play a bit more, you know, single hits here and there, not really going to try and start any strings with Diddy Kong because he knows that Diddy Kong has superior frame data. Um, oh, but that up throw? Not going to do it yet, though. It, but, but it's super strong, and probably one or two more up throws will kill. Smart using the platform there to do it, too, but that fair's going to do it instead. Yep, fair, fair is actually a stage. really strong option for Charizard to kill, plus he can combo it out of the grab. Absolutely. There's that single hit you were talking about earlier where he just needed to try to find a quick you know, way to kill him. Yeah, just space out the Diddy Kong. And just, just use Charizard's power. Just use his killing ability just to take that stock early. That's exactly what he did. Uh, however, Charizard's weakness in this matchup, though, is that Diddy Kong does have a strong combo game against heavies. Absolutely, it's combo food for him. Ooh. And uh, Diddy Kong, once he gets you in a string, so uh, that grab with those you ain't coming down anytime soon. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, that's all right. Um, however, I do feel that King James is still going to be pretty dominant here because that banana is such a strong tool against characters like Charizard. Right, absolutely. I mean, if he's not safe, like just like that, it, you know, mm -hmm. obviously he he's going to have a lot of lag landing on that banana. Yeah, he keeps slipping on the uh, banana. He's done it about three times, just running right into it. He has to be super careful because at this percent, Diddy Kong has something up his sleeve. See, like right there, yep, getting caught in that, uh, you know, that's all That's all he's looking for, is just the banana to uh, clap to up to kill. And now there's oh, yep. the forward air. Yep. Gets him in the right that hitbox. Was not, that was a forward smash. That was that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Was, forward smash, double, yes, of course. Uh, one, two. That yes, was got like yep. the super little Mac F tilt. Like he just boom, boom. Thanks you know. to Charizard's large <coughs> body, basically. Yeah. He's able to get him in the inner hit zones of his clap. And that's how he knew that forward smash was going to connect. Because if he whiffs that second hit, Charizard's not dying. But he's able to get him close, close enough. Instead of going for the up throw, mixes it up. Uh, I'm sorry, up smash. Instead of going for the up smash, he mixes it up. Gets the forward smash. Yeah, and that was not used before, so it's not stale. So it's going to kill and uh, takes that stock. Especially since uh, he, are, he had already used up smash. Uh, there's also, if I recall correctly, there I forgot what the bonus is applied to, but there's a freshness bonus if it's like the first use of the move um, in a match. I'm not sure if it, 
if it's based on like if it's not on the nine move sale list or if it's like the first move use of it period dur throughout a whole match but there's a pretty sure it's a uh, percent increase to the knockback uh, yeah absolutely sure, if, it, if it's not if it hasn't been used absolutely it's going to be more powerful than the stale move per se absolutely um let's see where they run this hmm. too Thinking Duck Hunt? It's, it's what it's... No. I'm running it back smash off, which is pretty good for uh, Charizard, considering that Diddy Kong can... Oh, wait, he switched to Bowser. I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, okay. um... This is also a good stage for Bowser, because he can break Diddy Kong's immersion. And, ooh, that actually only works in fast fallers and heavies. The oh, okay. Guaranteed up smash after up throw. Usually on most characters, it's from, like, 10 to 40%. Yeah, I feel like Diddy Kong's a little too light for that. Yeah. He's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's a middleweight character, which, um, it, like I said, the up smash only works on a small percentage of the cast. Now, Bowser, even heavier than Charizard, so we're going to see the same kind of deal here. But uh, Charizard, or, I mean, Bowser, a little more defensive of a character. He definitely has a stronger grab game than Charizard, which is going to be what we're seeing currently already is that it's going to be a very strong and polarizing card of the match. Yeah, and it looks like Linus is trying to find a way into... Uh, Diddy Kong here, just trying to find a way to break through King James, even though he's got this banana. Trying just not to make a mistake when he's in that relative range. Ooh, just spikes him with the dare. Uh, if you were to hit him with a, one of the dares weird, I wouldn't, I'm not sure if it's technically the, I think it's technically the sour spot. But if you were to hit him with that, you could actually probably kill Diddy Kong if they're somewhere in the air, and that's, um, oh, and yeah. hit, him, hit him with the Koopa King. Yeah, I call that the Bow Wow. The Bow Wow? Yeah. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Yeah, call what yeah. you will. It just yeah. took that stock. A solid conversion from GP Linus to take the early lead on King James here. Oh, uh, he's looking to just use his survive. At 150, I wouldn't say it's too strong of a lead, um, but Bowser's Rage well, definitely, like, get, if he gets Diddy Kong to 60%, he can probably kill. Yeah, don't look now. He's already at 66%. Wow. Taking this. Oh, oh my God. That bear. Nice bear. Absolutely. Oh. That was oh. the manliest bear I think oh. I've ever seen. Nice bear. <laughs> nice bear, bro. The, the cam's not even showing. I'm disappointed. Like, I, we'll, I made, I made we'll the, get ready the for pacha, it. We're going to get ready for pacha, it. The you know, pacha. Nice bear. <sighs> nice bear. <laughs> Anyways, um, it, the, the interesting part about this matchup, though, is that Diddy Kong can actually land trap. He, he in general, frame trap Bowser really well because Bowser has poor landing options. Absolutely. I feel like that's why he took Bowser to uh, Final Destination. Yeah, it's definitely a better pick for Diddy Kong. This is the stage he thrives on. He's got all this room to work with now. He can definitely, uh, no platforms to mess with the banana game or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so he can just try to look for his options just to try to get Bowser, try to get Linus to slip up and yep. just try to get him in his combos and really just work him until he's at that point where he can get, you know, solid conversion it off his forward smash or up smash or anything like that. Even though uh, Bowser, it's looking pretty even here. Based on their percents, seeing as how Bowser. Yeah, oh, per never mind. Percents almost don't even matter, like yeah, right he here, because like you can be at like Bowser can be at like 120. Diddy Kong can be at 89, for instance. Well, get that's like almost. Right, I, I would game. say King James definitely the lead here. Yeah. Yeah. But this stage actually reinforces Diddy Kong's ability to uh, frame trap and just lead tra trap in general. Oh, absolutely. Uh, very important part of this match, which I feel like King James should be focusing on instead of you know aggressive options. Interesting mm. part. By the way, if anybody caught that, that up B against Vanna instantly cancels the up B, and then Bowser can do something with no, no lag after. He immediately act out of it. So an up B cancel, and you have to yeah. with the uh, side B to get that grab, get the Bowser Claw on him. Yeah, I mean, Linus is trying to find a way to break through to Diddy Kong right now, but he's doing a good job of just staying alive, not getting caught. Oh, oh no. God. Well, that's not going to do it, read. though. You need to be at, what, about 140, you know, 150 for that to kill. Right, and Bowser. there's the Koopa King. There's the Bow Wow, but that's not going to, yeah, we're going to call it different things. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's definitely not going to do it, though, uh, but close. Next one might. Oh Next man, one will. It's probably, nope, it's, it's probably not going to connect. Oh, that'll do yep. it, though. Plenty of rage for Bowser, for uh, Linus there as he gets that Koopa grab and sends him up with the grab. After the up throw nerfs, uh, Bowser's uh, Bow Wow, as you, as you would like to call it, <laughs> um, Stops connecting on most characters after like 90 to 100 percent. Okay. So with 150 percent rage, it will probably kill around 78 percent, but it'll be harder to win. Right. You got to know when you're when to look for it, when it's going to connect. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, you're probably going to use it the wrong time. 
but oh my goodness, Linus separating himself commandingly from King James here with this stock lead. Already at 67%, and like you said, 70% will kill with the coup, with the Bow Wow. But yeah, yeah, that's definitely the stock seal. King at, James is not going to let him take at that chance. 160%, that's, you know, it's bound to happen. Absolutely. So uh, though. But that does give Linus a chance to use the uh, up throw up air for a larger window. Because of Definitely. the lack of range. Yeah, absolutely. Like Although he might not be able to connect now because oh. he's already at 100%. But he's not. He's focusing on stage position, which is very smart. Interesting use of Whirling Fortress there. I know he's using it for mix-ups on the ground to catch Diddy after an attempt to, to try to do something on Banana. Also uses it there to put pressure, kind of like Fox and Shine, just to kind mm -hmm. of make try to force Diddy to make a mistake recovering. Uh, uh, the very thing interesting with Whirling Fortress is that it, while it's really super, it's super safe on hit. Um, it, however, it's very laggy, like it has. Wow. Yep. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that was crazy. Yeah. He just grabbed oh, him wow. right off the landing. Just landed an instant grab with the Koopa Claw. <clears throat> throws him to get. Uh, throws him right off the stage into the bass corner. And S just sat on him. Like I, I know, the effects of sitting on people, is a.